You know, when women get married, the idea of marriage is let us have soft bed and just lie down and then be doing makeup in the morning, makeup in the afternoon, makeup in the night. And then she would tiptoe to the kitchen and look for orange juice and drink and take selfie of herself. <laughs> Oh, women, wake up. There's no life like that. I know you must have seen some pictures that they put on, on Facebook. People don't like it. Those people doing like that, they don't have husbands. <laughs> Small good they act. There. Dagon, we bow. So the disciples came and they put Dagon together, supported him so that he will be, he will be standing. Are you there? And when they arose on the morrow, behold, Dagon was falling upon his face to the ground before the ark of the Lord and the head of Dagon and both his palms and his house were cut off from the threshold. Only the stump of Dagon was left. It's as if the people knew that mischief will, will take place. <laughs> they were sure of mischief. So in the morning they came again this time. <laughs> Dagon could not be helped this time. Because Dagon became crippled. Only... <laughs> I have seen families where they married a woman and then they began to torment the witches they began to torment the woman began to torment the woman began to torment the woman and then the woman now she was a kind of woman she just said lord you know i don't have any hope again then she started fasting Fast. you know when a woman gets angry and she ties rapper there's a way that <laughs> ties rapper like this it means Stop that. If, if, you, if it's your wife, just beg her and say, okay, it's okay. So no more problem. She, she tied the rapper and began to fast in the night, began to pray in the night, began to pray in the night. The people that wanted to use witchcraft to navigate, the witchcraft was no longer working. They couldn't. Ah. The team. The crystal ball couldn't work. All the instruments that they used to survey, surveillance instruments, blackout. Ah. They sent one of them to the woman and said, Ah. That's after they have intimidated her with dreams. They will bring one beast in her dream like this. <laughs> to get her to stop praying. Then they will, they will bring one, one anaconda, one big snake. Then the snake will crawl in the, in the dream and do like this. And we will speak to the woman. We are after you. So that she will be intimidated. She didn't care about her. Kept pressing. When all the imageries that they present through dreams don't have the power to intimidate you and you still keep pressing, they will now come in the natural and say, you know, this prayer, this prayer can cause something. This prayer, it can cause something. Minimize it so that there will be no problem. When you hear that, it means that witches are, they are terrorized. Witches have been intimidated. What you will do is that you take up your journey. Then they will look to see if you have children. And then they will smite one of your child with an affliction. An affliction that is not medical. If you are not wise, you rush the child to the hospital. And when they do anything medical, maybe an injection, it will develop abscess. That problem that is coming on that child, especially when your prayers are intense, and then your child falls sick, is that same prayer that will cure that child. I have seen it over and over again. And the woman kept pressing. The woman kept pressing. The prayer, she will use it and inoculate the children. And it will work faster than Panadol. Work faster than Aspirin. Work faster than Cameron. Prayer. Huh? This time, the witches now understand that the battle line has been drawn. One day, they will come for incantation. That's how somebody will just die there. And then they will abandon the altar for some time. Not forever, for some time. 
and then you will have breakthrough. You will have peace. They want to test you with prosperity. They have tested you with affliction. You did not bow, so they will test you with prosperity and allow you to prosper and become fat so that when you raise your leg like this, <laughs> it will. <laughs> oh, my Maraconda. All they are trying to do is to restore Dagon. Dagon is crippled. May you cripple the idol that is speaking in your family in the name of Jesus Christ. Cripple the idol. Cripple that idol. If you can smuggle the ark there. That's what we mean when we say altar. It only responds to an altar. It's altar versus altar. But this is true about the ark of God. If you can smuggle it there, there is no idol, no spirit that can stand the majesty of the glory of God. And I tell you this as a missionary. Oh, I've met all kinds of stuff. I tell you this. You know I'm a missionary. I tell you this as a missionary. Went to preach. And don't, if, you are, if you don't know the law, don't go to Tanzania. There are nations... Don't go to Togo. Don't go to the Republic. Do Nigeria, then jump to Ghana. Don't go to Uganda. Don't go to Cameroon. Even if you go to Cameroon, you can stay in Douala. Stay in Douala. Don't move from there. They are play- if you start going down to Tiko, ah, I've seen altars of darkness. I've seen witches raging in the night. I've seen spirits, spirits hanging around my window. The, the man from Cameroon knows what I'm, I'm, I'm talking about. Spirits hanging around my window, and their legs were not touching the ground. I, was, I spoke in tongues till 5 a.m. before they, they left. They were just hanging there. As long as I spoke in tongues, they were paralyzed, but they were waiting for me to stop praying. Oh, you have not yet exercised yourself in the spirit to knock sleep off. You say you want to be an international minister. What are you looking for? Why not stay in high level? Stay in high level and be singing Makosa. <laughs> stay here. There's nothing. The only, the only thing you see in high level are boys that need to give their life to Christ. The, the intensity is on the low side. You will survive it. The spirits were there till 5 a.m. I prayed in tongues. Prayed in tongues. I prayed in tongues. I prayed in tongues. Until... Daylight started coming. That's when I went to sleep. And we still went for that crusade and struck hard. I came back again. After preaching in the crusade, you would think that, oh, okay, it's weary. If you, don't, if you can't drive sleep, you will not come back. I had that fight for three days. The third day, I struck what was there. And that, it was the third day heaven sent reinforcement from heaven. I saw the angel that was sent from above so mighty i've never seen that type before it was his sword that he just he just lowered it like this those demons just left there was no fight to just lower the sword it was brah they gone they gone with fall i want us to do something deliberate there are two prayer points i have the first one is they gone prayer point they gone the second one is is in the lamentation that is in the book of Psalm 74, verse 9. We see not our signs. We want to ask that God will restore our signs. Let us be able to read the meter of the Spirit again so that we'll know when to take our journey. We'll know, we'll understand how God is advancing us in the process that we are engaging. Hallelujah. Sometimes people get discouraged when they cannot see the progress that is being made from their input in prayer, their input in fasting. If you know how to read the signs, you'll be able to articulate how much progress you have made. Your spiritual life is not a vague adventure that is blind. No, there are spiritual senses with which you can articulate with a great sense of accuracy what is building in the spirit. And I'm not telling you what I have not seen. I'm not telling you what I have not practiced. Oh my God. There's a place in Cameroon called Boya. 
That was the day that I was preaching and God told me that some people in this um, congregation were raised to be custodians of altars, but somehow they refused to inherit the altars. But the spirits are following them. When I gave the altar call, about 14 people came out. Then we started deliverance, and you know how deliverance is, and all of that. And I thought we had finished until we went that night. We went that night, and something scratched my body. The thing that scratched my body, it touched my body physically. But the thing was invisible. The first... The first attempt that the kingdom of darkness will strike at you in a situation of spiritual warfare is not the attack, it's the intimidation. <laughs> so they'll try to do something in order to get the cooperation of your mind so that your mind will take to places it cannot, it should not go and your faith alignment will be broken. I have labored a little so I can tell you of my spiritual journeys. The thing touched my physical body. When you see that your mind wants to travel, what you need to do to stabilize it, you start speaking. Speak for one hour. Not praying in tongues. Speaking scriptures. Speaking scriptures. Speaking scriptures. But you are not doing it for the devil. You are doing it to, for your faith. Speaking. 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 And then your faith will come back. That's when you start fighting again. When they know that you cannot be intimidated, the fight has ended. They gone. He must fall. I don't know at what point you stop fighting. Maybe they intimidated you and then they came and brought something and drew a mark on your body. Say, hey, Ele, 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 Ele. Oh, my Kabo Korea. When the devil sees a man that does not retreat, he, he stays far. No. Even Satan himself calls those kind of men wicked. Say, this one is wicked. It's wicked. Deal with him brutally. Don't even yield to that, that weakness that is coming. Don't yield to it. That weakness is a, is a sound of death. We cannot indulge it. We cannot enjoy that luxury. Huh? I sent my pastor to go preach in Brazil. So he came and saw idol. Idol like this. So he went there and said, I, I bind you in the name of Jesus. I bind you. When he went in the night, the spirit almost killed him. You know that spirit that has been haunting you that will hold your neck and you, you say, <laughs> if you are not if you are not ready to fight, why did you go and talk to the idol? <laughs> Have you ever seen a wrestling match that the person won the match by just a blow? That thing you did to the idol was a blow. When you finish blowing, eh? Go and put on your boxers and get ready. He finished blowing somebody and he went to sleep. So they kept, you know, it's hammer lock that they gave him, that they'll put your head. <laughs> Most people are not ready for life. They are not ready for life. They are not ready for life. They are not ready for life. Put on your strength, O Zion. Put on your strength. The days of war are upon us. Oh, if you know what I'm saying, you can turn the tide. You can change the language. You can change the war. You can change the battle. You can change the battle. Went to preach somewhere. Three, three people were sent to come and assassinate me with spiritual tools. And I was ministering. And I was ministering. I was ministering. And then I said, oh. Then, you know, I normally teach what opens my anointing is teaching. I normally teach to a certain level and then my spirit opens and I can discern the presence of angels. I was just in the middle of teaching and one angel just stood in front of me like this. What is this? So at any time they stand like that, there's something I feel. When I feel that thing and I stretch my hand like this, people will start falling. So the angel stood here. So I did like this. Three boys began to form. The boys that came with weapon to fight me and are you there? Yes, began to foam, began to foam. Saliva was coming out like. And I said, Lord, what is happening here? Said, These are the ones that were sent to come and attack you. I said, attack? Ah. 
So what should I kill? How will we? You know, my own is, yeah, I've seen too much darkness. So the next thing is, so just, let's kill it, just kill it. Cut it. Yes. I'm brutal in the spirit. Very brutal in the spirit. When the fight starts, eh, I, I, will, I will never end until I win. It's, you need to you need to be careful to choose who you want to fight. You say you are an evil man, you kill this person, you kill that person, then you are on my case. I don't stop. I don't stop. I don't I don't say okay, let's let's negotiate. No. Think about it before you start. Is this is there somebody here that has become weary? Put on your strength. I want us to come against Dagon. And what I mean by Dagon are, are altars that have been built in your family. And they are using it to regulate people. To regulate marriages. As peace is taken out of marriages. All kinds of things are beginning to happen. No. No. Abraham, his life taught us a lesson. That the life of man upon the face of the earth is assured as long as he has an altar. He had to deal with the demon of barrenness in his wife. He had to deal with the issue of lack of direction. And it was the supervising spirit of his altar that manifested himself as El Shaddai. And El Shaddai was strong enough to battle barrenness and to put it aside. In the first generation, El Shaddai conquered barrenness. In the generation of Isaac, El Shaddai conquered famine. In the generation of Jacob, El Shaddai conquered poverty. What is this enemy that you have been fighting and you have not been able to pin it down? Can we pray in a moment of time? Dagon must fall. Dagon, he must fall. Dagon, he must fall. I don't know the name of that deity in your family. Hunting people from pillar to post. Dagon must fall. Dagon, Dagon, he must be destroyed. His hands must be amputated. You are too soft. You are too soft. You are too soft. You are too soft. Don't give another day of peace to witches, to wicked people. Don't give another day of peace. Yamo kore si ke me ke kora maha. Yamo se ke do kori abire desi. The destinies of many people have been marginalized. They've been kept on one spot. You can decide to rebel against the devil. Dagon must fall. The altar that speaks darkness. In your community, in your family, we sentence it to fire by the hand of God. Dagon must fall. Dagon must fall. No retreat, no surrender. No retreat, no surrender. No retreat, no surrender. This year you will see. Your life will blossom suddenly. Suddenly, you will shine. You will shine. The Lord will take you beyond your imagination. Ilaboko semanta dia, uba basi kapande le koria, presku paka de kuse, esi abranda maboko samalata, yata konse hete talado. Hombre que saquila más o te balua, las catabón de que te curra más si, rai con pala condo, y socoria brisquete que te bonde, alado cosqueta briga panzón, racosa malanda, racose cotalia, y lo bronda sacatono, hombre que es que se cele, ya mataba babón de cato, y esta cansa pregadía. Ambre casa kuda bantalia, ante kela branda babokoda, 
Your life will blossom. Your life will blossom. This year is your year. The things that resisted you before, they will lose their powers as we glide with the armies of heaven. The Lord has spoken the word over your life. For thou shall be saved, and the members of your household. You will fulfill your destiny. Oh, hello, ya mama mai. Basi kote, ebra kansa la te bande kuria. Brama sakatala, ebra la mabon sekala. We smuggle in the act of God. We smuggle in the presence of God. We smuggle in the power of God. Senia koseme. Ruka sanda babora kadia. Iyala baba kanseli. Elo umbria atala bosa atala bayato asanda babokoria elista bende. Eh eh eh. Dagon must be overthrown. The images. The altars, the idols, the spirits fall. They fall. They fall. They fall face down. Stripped of their power to manipulate. We come against them in the name of the Lord of hosts. Eko Santoria, Brega Batala, Ela Baraka Santoria, Endo De, Ruke Babasua, Alato Sesale, Branda Babarai, Takoske, Tabrenda Bakudebala, Arato Sese, Kuria Branda Babosakata, Yala Baba, Yala Baba, Baba, Yala Baba, 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 Yala Baba, Baba, Sokera. Suddenly you will discover that the resistance has gone. The limitation has been swallowed up. Mount up with wings like the eagles. Mount up into your windows above. God is not a man that he should lie. Allah bosayetaya. Aya la 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 baba sak. Bora kasanta babonde. They gone must fall. They gone must fall. They gone must fall. His reign must end. His manipulation must end. Fear no cause. Ela ba bore kasadia ba 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 ba. Saila la 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 baba la basa. Ika branta babo seke. Robin and Caesar see. And bring the leather soup. And the light. And the light. And the light. Ia the light. Go the light. Raske the bonda. Para kanseli. Para kando la bantele. Alabro ke. Alabro ke. Alabro ke. Sando koba basu ke ba. And for cause a color, cry at a cause, bring up a Santa Baboda gun, La Sol, La Cajon, La Cassan de Necaria, Udaha, Cabrono Seca, Yala Babonde, dig on your end as come. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. 
Can you use your mouth in a moment to proclaim some blessings on your life? You will see evidence this year. You will see it. <laughs> oh, things that have delayed. Things that have delayed. They've been held up, held up. Suddenly, they will be released. People that, that ran from you, that left you, by their own will, they will come back. Proclaim his glory over your life. When I knock, the doors shall be open. When I enter, I will be accepted. Nations will honor me. As I go to herald the gospel. Oh my God. Animo Jose. Rescopondo oro Korea Badis. Yes. I will not be rejected. I fly with the aroma of the favor of God. <laughs> this is your time. This is your moment. The Lord has spoken the word over your life. That in blessing you are blessed. In multiplying, you are multiplied. Hey, you dwell in the midst of the cherubim. Shine forth. You dwell in the midst of the cherubim. Shine forth. In the midst of the cherubim, I fall. He who dwells in the midst of the cherubim, I fall. He who dwells in the midst of the cherubim, I fall. I fall. Oh 